Hey, I'm going to invite you into a little bit of um, some more of my eccentricity here on the homestead. It's just another shade of me. Stay tuned. We're going to show you some art. Hello folks, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. This is the Homestead Life Series on the artsy fartsy side of me. I just wanted to uh, show you some of the ribbons I've won for some of my top art. And I'll save the, the best for last because I've got some pretty decent ribbons here. I, uh, I was shocked when I received them. Um, anyway, I set my easel up out here in the backyard. I thought the lighting was great. And we'll go ahead and go and share with you guys some of the variety of art I do. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to start off with this pencil sketch that I submitted to the fair. I did this a couple of years ago. This is, of course, you recognize my son Jeremy. And I just wanted to try out, see how my... Um, craft was on just graphite just regular pencil and then i lightened up his eyes with a little bit of colored pencil and some gouache to add some of that reflective white this is just an example a single example of some of the photography i do also this of course is the chicken coop and the bunny bungalow i put some twinkle lights on there wait, waited for it to snow and i did a show on that turned out epic now this is one of my f most favorite genres to draw and paint is vintage automobiles, old farm trucks, uh, the working part of our country. I love painting and capturing images of everything around me and that's where I get my inspiration from. So this is an old working farm truck I found, came across, took a photograph of it and I painted it. Now something special about this picture? This is acrylic. This is my first and only ever acrylic painting I've ever done. I haven't done one since. I've um, been trying to make time to go in. I, did not, I, I have no clue how to paint in acrylic. I never learned the basic foundations of uh, learning how to do it. I just slapped some paint on this canvas that my daughter got me a paint set, an acrylic paint set for Christmas. Decided to give it a try. So this is a result of my first and only ever acrylic. Now this will be going to the gallery and it'll be up for sale. Now the next few I'm going to show you are done in charcoal. Uh, this is one of my first charcoals I did. It was a still life and I call this one earache my eye. This will not be available for sale. It's uh, one and only. So I just tried my hand at charcoal and see how I did. Let's look at the next one. Again, another still life charcoal. This is of a vase with a flower in it. Curtains in the background and the still life of a, um, a, a chromed uh, knight in shining armor hat helmet whatever you call those and uh, this is the probably the second charcoal I've ever done and again this will not be for sale either okay getting into watercolor uh, this is the actually this is the third watercolor painting I have ever painted in my life this is the third one this uh, dominates a special place in my dining room wall so you guys see that a lot i may get some g clay reproductions on a smaller scale and sell those i'm thinking really strongly about doing that but this is an original it the original will not be for sale the g clays will this one also is uh, of some trees I painted. This is probably my, um, I would say the 
second set of uh, a second dozen of paintings I painted. I always wanted to learn how to paint these trees and learn the special technique of painting. And so I was able to finally learn that and this is a result of that. Now this is the original and it dominates a spot on my uh, wall in my living room because I really love this picture. G. Clay's uh, reproductions which are gallery quality prints will be available for sale. And uh, those they will be available for sale at the gallery as well. Now, I, you, I've shown you guys this one before. We're going to divert from watercolor for a moment. And we're going to go to what we call scratchboard art. Uh, black clay surface on white panel. And you just take a sharp tool and start scraping off the, um, the material. And it exposes the white underneath. And this is the sea turtle. This is the first, the very first scratchboard art. This is an original. This will remain in my possession. I have duplicates, the uh, duplicate prints that will be for sale at the gallery. Now, since the turtle is hanging in my bathroom and my new bathroom remodel, I decided to come up with two more pictures for the ensemble to make it kind of balance out uh, for my decor I'm going after in the bathroom. These two are also scratchboard art. These are the originals and again, the prints will be available for sale. Here's another example of a scratch board. I've done many scratch boards, about a dozen of them all together. I, uh, again, I like to create images of things that are around me that I'm familiar with. That way I feel a spiritual connection to uh, what I'm putting on canvas, scratch board, paper, or what have you. Uh, don't particularly tr uh, try not to draw or paint anything, recreate anything of something I'm not familiar with. So I stick only to my environment around me and that's why you guys are seeing a theme uh, of uh, art in my collection. Getting back to watercolor, this is a Barbados ram that visited our yard one day. Uh, over at our other farm, I ran out with a camera, took a picture of him and got some video of him and decided to recreate him and made this image of the Barbados Ram in watercolor. This is the original. Uh, it will be for sale in the gallery and I do have G. Clay prints made and ready to sell of the Barbados uh, Ram also. Now, like I stated, I you're going to recognize the rest of them are from my immediate environment from my farm. This is one of my American buff geese on my pond. This is a rowan duck, which I had for a short time. I used to raise those and they uh, dwelt on my little pond here for a time. And of course, this is an original. It will be in the gallery and prints will be for sale. A buff Orpington chicken. This is a rooster. Uh, this is the original. He will be offered for sale uh, in the gallery as well as prints. Now each one of my pictures has a story. This is a, a picture I, I painted from a photograph that I uh, took my son over to my childhood uh, growing up places. And this is of Empire Lakes over in Coos Bay. It's right on the shore of the college campus. We live not too far from there. I grew up there. The cabin I painted in because I thought it would make a little extra nice scenery, uh, but it does not exist in the original picture. This lake, as a, uh, a lad, I'd go over there and opening day, every boy and some girls in the neighborhood would go camp out over there. and. Uh, We'd get up early in the morning and get our fish hooks wet and we would we would get into uh, fishing. We grew up fishing on that lake and also skinny dipping out there too. Just what kids do. Relax, spend the summer months. But this is called Empire Lakes. This is the original. It will be for sale at the gallery and I do have G. Clay prints also available. 
Getting back to the homestead, you'll recognize that scene. This is actually a self-portrait. I call this morning chores. Yes, this is in the dead cold of winter and me uh, going up and getting ready to make sure all my livestock have water and feed. Yeah, each picture has a story. This is the original. It'll be go on sale at the gallery as well. I have G. Clay Prince. One of my viewers actually uh, articulated interest in a print of this picture. So uh, if they get a hold of me, I can accommodate you. <laughs> a 1969 Volkswagen Bug Classic. My son and I, uh, he picked it up as a father-son project. We restored it. And then he gifted it to somebody, but this is, uh, we had some photographs of it and I recreated this watercolor from those photographs. But this car sure has fond memories. I loved driving this car. And as you're driving this car down the road, you're constantly seeing people, slug bug, slug bug. It's hilarious. I should mention, I will be offering the original for sale in the gallery and G. Clay prints are available for sale also uh, in the same size. And I can also order G. Clay prints in a smaller scale at a reduced uh, cost. Now we're getting into uh, some of my top award winning art. Some of those art pieces you saw were first place winners and other winners. Now we're getting into the artwork that I've gotten top awards on. This is my coworker's dog. Her name is Bella. She is a Burmese mountain dog. And she showed me a picture of her and I absolutely love the colors of this dog. And I, I, I wanted so bad to paint it. So she supplied me with a photograph and I was able to paint it for her. I have the original. It will be going for sale at the gallery. And she also has a uh, G Clay print number one of 1000 is what I'm offering for sale. And I can get these in different sizes too uh, when I order the G Clay reproductions. But this is Bella, the Burmese mountain dog. I only have a few more pictures left, but this is one of my last top award-winning paintings I did. This is the original. No, the original was actually given to the couple uh, with whom I painted. These are friends of mine, uh, my coworker and her husband. And I, I was doing a special service on this venue and I took some pictures uh, of them and uh, this I call this lovers on the lake and this is them floating on the private lake and uh, Rogue Valley's um, table rock in the background and of course the distant mountains and again I'm offering the uh, G clay prints only for sale uh, they will be available for sale in the gallery but m uh, might not be on display on the wall uh, because the original is actually in the possession of the actual couple whom I painted. Now we're getting into what I call my masterpieces because the next, the final two I, I'm going to show you were top award winners uh, for me at the fair. This, uh, this is, since I'm all about homesteading, my pictures evoke homesteading and these are the uh, early homesteaders. So what this is, this picture, is a wagon train going through the High Rock Canyon of the Black Rock Desert in northeastern or northwestern Nevada. Now this is called the Applegate Trail. What's interesting about this picture is my buddy was the, uh, this was a recreation. The, all these people were modern day people and they were recreating from Kansas City, Missouri to Applegate, the Applegate Trail. And so he followed them and took photographs and he has since passed away, but his uh, wife loaned me the pictures and I was able to recreate this watercolor from the photograph that he took. And the uh, High Rock Canyon I actually uh, discovered a technique to be able to paint the rocks and I was able to teach that in my art class on how we did that. I call it the credit card method because you literally use a credit card to, to scrape it and get the surfaces and the textures you want. 
So uh, this is the original going to the art gallery and I'll show you guys variations of the same picture. I'll show you guys uh, another variation of the same picture in a moment. I also uh, I want to add, uh, this was an earlier picture. This is probably my, uh, oh yeah, this was the 12th picture I ever painted. Number 12, 12th picture. Now there's a story behind this. Um, I was painting so fast, my teacher told me to slow down. And so I decided, okay, I'll go ahead and slow down. And um, this is what came of it. So this took me several days to paint instead of just a couple of hours. And the next picture I'm gonna show you is uh, of the same Applegate Trail store. Yeah, they're pretty big. I painted uh, this picture uh, the, just before the wagon train. The wagon train was the second picture I painted. This was the first picture I painted. I call this Trail Boss. And this guy was actual Trail Boss that led the wagon train on these trails uh, through the High Rock uh, Canyon of the Black Rock Desert, leading them to Jacksonville, Oregon. Now, I'm told uh, that this gentleman here and his horse, they are actual residents outside of Jacksonville, Oregon. But I never had the pleasure of meeting the guy, but I was able to take the photograph and render this watercolor of it. Uh, and I used some different techniques and methods for the, the, the rock wall or the canyon wall behind him. And then just experimenting with my craft and technique at getting the denim folds. And just, my, and this was my first time painting a horse or even an animal, this is my first. So I'm, I'm loving the genre of Western art and I may turn most of my attention towards that genre of Western art and do more horses, more livestock, uh, and more like old barns. I just love old trucks, old barns. That's where my heart is, that's where my passion is. And as a painter, I think I could probably excel if I stick with things that I'm more spiritually connected with. I, um, I really want to test that. I mean, these pictures really stretched me. Um, these were early first pictures in my career. Now, this is an example of the size of G. Clay's I could shrink it down to. This is uh, also going to be for sale in the gallery as is, but this is a G. Clay reduced print for people who don't have a lot of money to spend on the big pictures. Uh, for instance, this one is selling for, we'll give you a, a guesstimate, about $360 for this particular picture. And this too is another uh, example of the size reduction of the big master pictures, the originals, that I was able to get scanned and get these G clay prints made out of. Now this too will be for sale for $360. This is a G clay print, will be uh, going to the art gallery for sale. I uh, have other paintings of other genres because I grew up on the beach, on the coast. And I've got a lot of paintings that are coastal scenes and I intend to do some more because that's where I'm connected. That's where I am um, most grounded and rooted is just here in the mountains on my homestead and then also on the beach. Yep. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little art exhibit and the stories behind each painting that, uh, yeah, I'm getting ready for this big uh, art exhibit. I've been working really hard at uh, getting the pictures um, matted, framed, printed. Uh, I still got some work to do on the back sides of these, um, but we'll get her done. We'll get her down to the gallery and we'll I'll, I'll announce when the art show is going to be, where it's going to be, how long it's going to be and uh, go from there. Um, I, I'm kind of excited to sit down at the table and start another picture because I'm not sure where my ambition is going to take me because I don't know what I'm gonna paint, draw, scratch, or whatever yet, I don't know. 
uh, but we'll see how that evolves. Check out my, uh, oh, I got that whole list of videos that you can see. I did a series of paintings and drawings and scratchboard. And behind each painting, I told a story from my grandfather's memoirs of him as a little child growing up in the prairies of Nebraska South and South Dakota. And it talks about his adventures, just growing and developing into a young man and interesting the times he spent and how he survived the original swine flu pandemic, World War II, you know, the whole thing. So the pictures, the stories, check that series out. I'll leave links for you guys to get to them. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. We're a frugal homestead uh, up in the Cascade Mountains of the Pacific Northwest. Please stay tuned to more videos. You could do that by subscribing and clicking that bell icon. That'll let you to new videos as I do upload them. Give us a thumbs up, like the show, and also if you could share my videos on your social media platforms uh, to your guests and friends and connections. And also leave a comment. And I got one more thing. I have a collection of original art, did not show here today, I'm giving away, not a contest, it's not a contest. I'm giving away, free, no strings attached, except for how am I going to select recipients of this? Well, I'm just gonna randomly pick out some uh, recent um, viewers who have commented. That's how I can connect with you is through your comments. Uh, once you comment, uh, I just connect with you and it's just it's like randomly. I just say, hey, uh, send your, uh, your mailing address to this email address so I can get a special one of a kind, no copies made of, original art. Don't know if it's going to be watercolor, drawing, scratchboard. Uh, you'll be surprised. I'll be surprised. So. That's what I'm doing for my fans, for my viewers. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Please be safe and always be kind. I'll be selecting names uh, in the next couple of days. We'll see you guys. Bye-bye.